Alrighty then. Alrighty then. The Sting. Watchtower The Sting. Have you ha ever been stung by a bee or a wasp? And your whole body gets into oh, hurt mode. Yeah? You've obviously experienced that. Uh, women can handle it better than men because men are pussies. Okay? The Sting. The Watchtower of the Sting. You're probably wondering what this video is about. There was a great film years ago. I haven't watched it for many years. Uh, I think Paul Newman was starred in it. It was called The Sting, where they set people up. Let me play. Um, let me play this theme song. Hang on a second. You may not recognize the film, but it's very, very interesting. The Watchtower Society is a scam, a stinger. Before I go into the meat of this video about being stung, you need to realize that in the 1900s, cults came on the scene. Ellen G. White proclaimed she talked to angels who told her that Messiah was Michael. Mormons said that Joseph Smith was it, saw the angel Moroni, take off the eye, then you got moron. Rutherford, J.W., said he talked to angels, the common factor here. Now, if you were Jehovah's Witness, you probably remember the red book called Revelation Climax. There's a subliminal thought. I used to love that book. I used to adore that book in my 40 years as JW. And they brought out a number of notes of revision on that book. But when I left the Watchtower three years ago, I resigned, I started looking at the pictures in that book, Revelation Climax, and I saw subliminal images like the angel with a demon hand a demon figure in the hand. Yeah, and there's many more. If you go to my channel, you'll see my uh, on one of my um, things I've put up subliminal images. Okay, if you're interested. Now here's the hoot. Here's the real hoot. We're talking about stings and locusts. Now, if you hear the word locust, what connotation does that bring to your mind? Locust good or bad. Remember, locusts were one of the plagues against Pharaoh in Egypt. Now, let's read this. The Revelation Climax, because I don't have that copy now, I'll dig from memory. Commented this on Revelation 9, okay? All right. And we'll look at verse 2. Revelation 9, verse 2. Well, let's look, look at verse 1, actually. The fifth angel sounded, I saw a star a fall from heaven to the earth, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. He opened the bottomless pit, and there arose smoke out of the pit, as the smoke of a great furnace, and the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. This is the KJV version. And there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth. To them was given power as scorpions of the earth have power. Alright? Verse 5. To them, locusts, it was given that they should not kill them, but they, they should be tormented five months. Now we go. Verse 7. The shapes of the locusts were like horses prepared unto battle. On their hounds were, as it were, crowns like gold, and their faces like men, hair like women. Verse 10 of Revelation 9, they had tails like 
unto scorpions and there were stings in their tails and their power was to hurt men five months now the watchtower in the revelation climax book says this ridiculously these are the anointed ones among Jehovah's Witnesses like Rutherford Russell etc ridiculous now this gets worse verse 11 they had a king over them who is the angel of the bottomless pit whose name in Hebrew tongue is Abaddon but in Greek is Apollyon now, the watch has brought out in that Revelation Thomas book the king of the abyss is Messiah you don't need comic books this is ridiculous the watchtower called Messiah Michael Abaddon Apollyon like I said they did revisions to it but they kept that they've used the Bible and fitted it into their theology like revelation applies to conventions they held in the 1900s ridiculous most of revelation has not been fulfilled yet the sting in the tail don't be a sucker seek true sucker s-u-c-c-o-u-r through the messiah who is not king of the bottomless pit he's not michael he's not abaddon he's not apollyon he's the man messiah now glorified throw that book away it's full of subliminal images and ridiculous script it's worse than any man could write comic book wise it's inspired by demons first timothy 4 verse 1 read that very carefully the watchtower is a joke a sick joke do not be stung 